uh, hello everyone welcome again to my youtube channel so now with our continuation on compressors we'll be doing uh, this first example and then it reads as follows a single stage uh, single acting reciprocating air compressor as the bow of 2 to 10 millimeters and a stroke of 290 millimeters it runs at a speed of 550 rpm in. the clearance volume is six percent of the swipe volume and the uh, polytrope the polytropic index is 1.35 throughout intake our condition are 75 kilopascals and then 19 degrees celsius uh, at the compression pressure is 600 kilopascals determine the free air delivered in meters uh, meter meter cube per, per min uh, free air condition is and then they give also give us the temperature and then the volumetric if uh, the volumetric efficiency refer to the free air condition and then they, they also want the uh, the air deliver temperature and then the cycle the cycle power so that is our our question let us take the the given information let us just write the given information that we are given here okay given Okay, let's say a single stage uh, acting reciprocated compressor is a bar which is the give us the, the diameter of 2 to 10 millimeters and then they also give us the stroke which is the, the length of 2 to 90 millimeters. Okay, and they say it runs at the speed of which means they also give us the speed which is n of 5, 550 r. Alright, okay. They're saying the clearance volume is six percent of the soil volume, which is the clearance volume, which is this is six percent. I can just check uh, the percentage will be zero comma zero six of the soil soil volume. <coughs> okay. And they're saying and the polytropic index is they also give us n, which is one comma three, one comma three five throughout uh, the intake condition. So if we're talking about the intake condition, we're talking about the about the initial which is gonna be your P1 and remember from what I said here P1 is equals to P4 so it means if they gave you P1 they gave you P4 which is 95 kilo kilo pascals and then they also give us what a temperature they also give us a temperature which is T1 which is equals to 19 and then you change it to be 10 plus 27 273 and then you're going to get your answer there and then I said, and the compression uh, pressure is so which means it's being compressed to which is P2 is equal to P3 as I emphasized on the first video, which is uh, 600 kilo kilopascals. Okay, so the first question is saying determine uh, the free air delivered in a meter cube per minute free air condition. So which means they also give us the free air condition, which is P, PF. They also give us PF of 1. 101,325 kilo kilopascals and then they also give us a temperature which is T TF of of 15 degrees Celsius plus 270 remember we'll be using Kelvins okay let me just get my calculator let me quickly get my calculator so I can change this one so it's gonna be 15 plus 273 which is 2 288 Kelvins and gets 19 19 plus 27 uh, 19 plus 273 which gives us 292 Kelvin alright okay so the first question it says it wants the uh, <coughs> the first question it says the free air delivered which means we need the, the volume of the free air and then remember I give you a formula we said P PLV VF over TM is goes to P uh, it says P1 V1 minus V V4 divided by T by T1. Alright, okay. So this is the formula that is going to guide us. Remember, we are looking for the they need the, the volume of the free air. And then we are given PF, we are given TF. Do we have T1? Yes, we are given TF. Do we have P1? Yes, we have. But we don't have uh, V1 and, and V4. And then remember, I did emphasize if they're talking about V1 minus V4, this is the same as what? Well, the effective, effective volume. So we need to calculate the, the effective volume. Okay, then let's check from what? So we are going to. 
check with the given information what we can we can calculate remember we're given the diameter and then we can give we're given also the we're also given the length which means we can also calculate the v squared we use we are going to use the formula say pi d squared divided by four multiplied by by the line okay and then all right okay let us continue so here we have pi and then our diameter we can just change it to be, to be meters which is same as what zero comma uh, zero comma two one zero squared divided by divided by four multiplied by <coughs> our length if we change it's gonna be zero comma two two nine okay let us punch our token and see what we get here so this is same as okay pi open bracket zero comma two one zero squared four and then multiply by zero comma two yeah, okay, what do we get here? Yeah, I get zero comma. Okay, so my base is gonna be 0, 0,01005 meter. Meter cube. Remember it's a it's a volume, so it's measured in, in meter cube. So now I have my, my VS. So since I have my VS, I can calculate my, my VC, my V clear clearance, which is VC is goes to 0, 0,06 multiplied by my VS, which is 0, 0,1, sorry, 0, 0,01005, and then I'm going to get my, my V clearance. I can multiply by 0, 0,06. What do I get here? Okay, it's giving me. Six comma zero comma two seven times ten to four negative four meter meter cube. Okay, so since remember from that uh, from uh, from the previous video, I said V S is supposed to to V three is supposed to is answer which is comma zero two seven times ten to the power negative four meter meter cube. So which means now we <coughs> we have our V three. And then remember the idea. The whole idea is to find v1, and then is to find find also v v4 because this is the the missing values that we don't have. And then remember the formula to calculate v v s is same as what v1 minus minus v3. Let us check. Can we not calculate v v1 here? Yes, we can because since we have what we have v s, and then we also have v v3, which means I can transpose that onto this side. Which is v1 is equals to v s plus v v3 and then what does it give me <coughs> okay my VS, i said VS is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,01005 plus my my v3 which is 6,027 times 10 to power negative negative 4 and then i can get my my v1 okay let me just punch which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0,01005 plus 6,0 Zero two two seven times ten to the power negative negative four. Okay, here it gives me zero comma zero one zero seven meter cube. So now, which means now I have my v one. I'm only left what with v with v four. And then which formula can we use to calculate our our v four? We can use the following formula. It says v. And my marker, okay, it's no longer writing. V, V4 equals to uh, V3, open bracket, so it's gonna be P, P3 over P, P4 to the power, one over, one over N. And remember, I said here, once you're given P1, you're given P4, from that diagram that I showed you on the previous video, if you haven't watched it, you might can go in and recheck on that video. I said P1 is equals to P4 and then P3 is equals to uh, P2. So here we have V3, yes we do have V3. What is our V3? I said it's 6, 0, 0, 0, 2, 7. I hope you can see properly. Let me try to get out of the back. All right, okay. So this is our, our V3 times 10 to the power negative, negative 4, 
and then I open brackets. What is my P3? My P3 is what? 600 divided by what is my P4, which is 90. 95 to the power 1 over. What is my N? They did give me N of 1, 3, 35. All right, okay, so I can punch my calculator and get the an answer, which is 6, 0, 2, 7, times 10 to the power negative, negative 4. And then open brackets, which is 600 divided by 95, close bracket to the power 1 over. 1,35 and then it, it gives me it gives me 2, 2 millimeter millimeter cube all right okay so now i have my i have my v4 and then i also have my v1 which is now it's possible to copy the uh the uh the volume of the free a but firstly i can just i can just calculate this since i know my ve is v1 minus v v4 okay here yeah. so what is my v1 i did calculate v1 which is 0 comma 0 1 0 7 minus v4 which is 2 comma 3 2 4 times 10 to the power negative negative 3 and then i can get my my ve which is 0, 0, 0, 0,0107 minus 2,324 times 10 to the power negative 3. And then I get my, my VES 8,376 uh, times 10 to the power negative 3 meter, meter cube. Alright, okay. So which means now I have my. I have my V, which means I have everything now. I can I only left with one, one unknown, which is V, which is VF, which means I can calculate my VF now. Okay, which side can I have my body small? My body small. My body small. So I said the formula I said what PF VF over TF is goes to P1 VE over T T1 and then we can make our <coughs> VF the subject of the formula. So it means that it's going to be PF VF is goes to P1 V VE T1 multiplied by, by T TF and then here you divide by by PF then divide by by P PF and then this one cancel this one and then to calculate my my VF it's gonna be what how does my P my P1 it's what 97 multiplied by VF which is 8 comma 376 times 10 to the power negative negative 3 divide by what is my T my T1 which is 9 2 uh, sorry 292 all right okay I close the bracket multiplied by TF. They give us the TF. Oh, unfortunately, guys, right? let me just check from here. What was my TF? Okay, it was 15. 15 plus 273, which is 288. 288. And then all divided by my PF, which is 101, comma. They give me 101, comma. Okay, let me recheck. 101,325. All right, okay. So let me just punch my calculator and get my answer. So it's not difficult, it's very easy as you can see. The more you practice, the more you can understand it. Okay, times 10 to the power, negative 3, and then, okay, 2. So if you punch this, you're going to get 7,908 times 10 to the power negative, negative 3 meter, meter cube, meter cube. All right, okay, so this is, this is uh, your answer for the, for the free air. But remember, they said they want it uh, per mean. They said they want the free air uh, in meter cube per, per mean, and then they also give us the number of what? Of revelations. So we are going to multiply by our N, which is multiplied by, by 500. 
and fifty. Five, fifty, and then you get your final answer multiplied by five, five fifty, which gives you four comma three three five liter cubed per three minutes. So this is gonna be your your final answer. So as you can see, it's not that difficult. The more you practice, the more you can catch up. You can just finish up on the remaining remaining question also. So make sure you catch me on my next video when I'm going to do a different topic. Uh, thank you for watching.